The Russian Foreign Ministry says Moscow does not yet recognize the Taliban as Afghanistan's new lawful authority. Julia Chapman has more from Moscow. Russia's special representative on Afghanistan, Zamir Kabulov, says that the country maintains a relationship with both the Afghan government insofar as it still exists and with the Taliban as well. And he says that Russia is ready to work with a transitional government in Afghanistan. But he says that the country has not yet recognized the Taliban as legitimate government in Kabul. Nevertheless, he did leave the door open for that, saying everything has its time. So it's certainly possible that Russia could, down the line, recognize the Taliban as being in charge in Afghanistan, despite the fact that the group is recognized as a terrorist organization here in Russia. At the same time, uh, the Russian ambassador to Afghanistan has said that Russia will not withdraw its diplomats from uh, Afghanistan. He says that Russia and other diplomatic missions have received assurances from the Taliban that they will be safe to remain there. He says there is no direct threat to the Russian embassy in Kabul and they will continue working as usual. And Russia certainly has maintained dialogue with the Taliban. It's hosted them at several rounds of peace talks here in Moscow along with the Afghan government as well. And now uh, Russia says that dialogue is one of the main solutions Solutions to preventing a humanitarian catastrophe in Afghanistan. So it has called for a meeting of the UN Security Council, of course, Russia being one of the permanent members of that body, uh, saying that this urgent dialogue will need to take place on Monday. And that is one of the most important ways of preventing uh, a full scale disaster in Afghanistan going forward. Julia Chapman, CGTN, Moscow.